preaching of the word is the fuel that lights the fire in the hearts of God's people that propels them to the ends of the earth. The quality of teaching instruction that I had at Southeastern was second to none. Not only are they capable men, but they're humble men and they're accessible. I don't think you'll find a more well-rounded place than Southeastern. Our goal from the very start of this was to bless pastors. We just said that's what we're going to do. It took us about 10 seconds to decide that our offerings would be given to Mission Dignity at Guidestone. Didn't, that, there was very little discussion of that. We just agreed. We are average and smaller churches, and some of us are have saved inadequately for retirement and may one day be making application for Mission Dignity. I want you to know uh, several things that 100% of the offering that you're given here today will go towards Mission Dignity. We are not, we, we are, all of our expenses are taken care of through other things, so uh, none of this offering is, is coming to us. If you give an offering today, it will go to Mission Dignity. There are three ways that you can give. American cash will be accepted, that green stuff. You can write a check. If you write a check, don't make it to me or to, to the pastor's conference. Make it to Guidestone. Write it out to Guidestone. And you can also give, and it's supposed to be up here at some point, you can give uh, through the MD Give 77977, uh, and the instructions will be here. So uh, give that way. There's a video that's going to play, uh, and then Dr. Hawkins will come up and share. So. What a wonderful thing it is to be a pastor. He was handsome and dressed nice. And I sit here and I look at the pictures and I think of the things we did during our ministry together. We pastored quite a few churches, but they've all but a couple been little country churches that were barely scraping by. The pay that I got was half of the offering. Sometimes it was $10, sometimes maybe 15 We had barely enough to live on, much less to put in any kind of savings or annuity or anything like that. We had to depend on the Lord, but He's always been faithful to us. Our life after retirement was very different because we didn't have insurance, you know, then. I certainly am grateful to Mission Dignity. When you get old and you're at the end of your ministry, you do good to sweep the front porch. I don't know how we made it. But we did because of the donor's goodness, and uh, we just appreciate it so much. Mission dignity is a wonderful thing. I go to my mailbox every month, and I know my little check is in there. Many times you've put food on our table, and you've bought our medicine for us. I would not have been able to have dental work done. There are times that I had to use it for car repair. Sometimes you think maybe it's just a little, but a little is a whole lot. Little is much when God is in it. I would like to thank the donors, there are more than one, donors, for being so concerned about little pastors' wives or little pastors. I would just really love to sit down and give them a big old hug and tell them I love them and I thank God for them. Thank you. 
God bless you. Thank you. On behalf of uh, thousands of folks that we help, you know, a few years ago, the neediest got $50 a month, and now those pastors and their widows, the neediest among us, get $630 a month. And like that little widow wrote me not long ago, she said, I get to eat at night now, and it's not just a piece of toast. So thank you, David. As he said, 100% of the offering goes to Mission Dignity, and you also ought to know that once it gets to us, at Guidestone, that 100% of every dollar that comes to Mission Dignity goes straight to someone in need. Uh, uh, we've already endowed the program, all the expenses, the, the people that work in Mission Dignity, the, the postage, everything is endowed so that everybody that gives, every penny, goes straight to one of those in need. Uh, Guidestone's doing something for Mission Dignity this year with smaller churches in mind. What, what can you buy for under a dollar anymore? Not a Coke, not a cup of coffee, not a package of gum, but you can buy a beautiful Christmas devotional with 25 devotionals and God's Christmas gift to you, the plan of salvation in it called the Christmas Code that is going to be available for 99 cents uh, to be used as an evangelistic tool this Christmas to support mission dignity. Hearts are more open at Christmas time than any other time. My first church was out in southwestern Oklahoma. Uh, we had 700 homes in our community. You know, if I'd have had this for 99 cents a piece, I would have taken one, put it on the door of every home in that community as an evangelistic tool with some invitations in there to our Christmas services. So they're for you out at our booth outside. You can pick up one free and see what it's about. It's got some information in it that will tell you how you can use it in your church this Christmas uh, as an outreach tool, and all of the proceeds from it go to mission dignity. So in behalf of these precious soldiers of the cross, thank you again, David, and all you folks who are here for all you're doing to be Christ's hand extended to these good and godly people. It's close to the heart of God who said, this is pure and undefiled religion that you come alongside widows and orphans. God bless you. Thank you very much. Pick up one of these when you leave.
love to um, lead you now in what is probably a new song to many of you. It's a song that we hope will fire us all to mission. It was written specifically for our good friends at Southeastern Seminary, a true mission-based college. And we'd love to do it tonight. And we'd love to draw to your attention, particularly to the last verse, which um, quotes from Philippians, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Can we invite you to stand with us and let's sing it together.
Atlanta, Georgia.